Hey there everyone, Hidesh here, back again with another video and this is back with Adobe XD. Yes, I know it took a little bit break with Adobe XD because this challenge is not about doing 30 days like in back to back because I wanted to give more time to explore Adobe XD. But regardless of whatever uh, was the reason, uh, I came up with a very nice tutorial here and today we're going to design circular progress bar with 100% accuracy. Yes, if I mean 75%, it's going to be dot .75% circular progress bar. The reason why I learned that because I did that once in the sketch and now XD has some of the features of sketch. Uh, we can do that and replicate the exact same techniques that I've used there. The reason why we are doing a circular progress bar because I was looking forward to design uh, an app design or app UI uh, for a health tracking app. Now, this is just a fictitious project that I wanted to do. So without wasting much more time, let's get started and do this amazing thing. And uh, I will also notify a couple of things which are still not in XD. Uh, hopefully they will come very soon. So let's go ahead and go up with this. I hope my XD is fully up to date. Uh, I guess so if I can check where is Adobe XD there we go uh, looks like there are a couple of updates being available uh, I will do that update a little bit later but uh, right now let's just go with this tutorial so we need an artboard and feel free to choose even the Android mobile or whatever uh, the device you are looking forward because uh, the canvas doesn't really matter in this case so I'm gonna just delete that and also not only this I'm gonna just expand this a little bit I'm not looking forward any kind of mobile or this kind of design just wanted to create this circular bar and want to show you how this is being done. Okay, so first and foremost, we need a circle. So E for ellipse tool and we're going to grab a circle. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to grab a circle of let's just say 400 by 400, which is a nice circle, not an oval. And feel free to just use any others as well. But a proper circle is necessary for this trick to work out. And you can choose a height of 200, 400, whatever that is. Make sure you're also cap you're capable of uh, determining the radius of this circle. And that is actually very easy to do. Let's just say this is a 400 by 400 circle. So the radius is obviously 200 in this case. If that would be like 100 by 100, uh, the radius would have shrink to 50. So uh, in case you're not good in math, just visualize this. So from this here, to this point, if this is like 400, uh, then the half of this is going to be something like uh, 200 and that's exactly what the radius is. So uh, just visualize a little bit and you will be all good. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to remove the fill and we are going to check out the border. I want to make it a little bit like subtle gray up here. Uh, that's nice. And we're going to increase the size to something like 20. Uh, yeah, 20 is good actually. We're good with that. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more subtle. I just want it to be there like like this one. It should be there, but it should not it should not like pop out or something. Okay, so let me hit command Z. There we go. Escape. Now let's create a duplicate of this. First of all, I'm gonna just rename this layer because naming is super important in this, otherwise you get confused. So I'm gonna call this as BG for the background. There we go, nice and easy. Super amazing, awesome. Now I'm gonna just copy and paste this. So control C, control V, quickly. And I'm gonna just rename this top layer to, uh, I'm gonna choose a color of, uh, let's just say blue for this one, okay? And it's time to just fire up our tab and pick up a color and we're gonna go for flat, uh, flat UI color. Okay, we're gonna pick a palette. Uh, let's just go for Aussie. Aussie, Australia. I think I'm gonna go for, uh, this is very sharp, but I'm gonna go for this one. I know I named it blue, but I'm gonna just rename that quickly. Green, there we go. And I'm gonna just choose a border color for this one uh, to this greenish, looks nice. Okay, so now let's move on to the tricky part. Uh, first and foremost, you know what? Uh, what I would like to do is the magic actually happens all in the dashes. Now in the dashes, we are going to apply a formula here, uh, which is like really, really simple formula, nothing too fancy about here, and which is two pi r. So two into multiplied by pi, which is 3.14. No need to go into too much depth of pi, it's just a value of 3.14. And then you have to mention a radius of this. So we need to get from how many dashes it can build up. So you have to give a radius. So in this case, I guess 200 what my radius. Uh, this is the formula that we are having. So let's just press V, select this one. Yes, 200 was, was my radius. 
and we need to grab a number from this. How we can do that? Just apply this in the dashes. So we're gonna do two multiply by uh, 3.14 and multiply, oops, uh, multiply by uh, our radius, which is 200. Once you grab a number from this, in, in my case, I have grabbed uh, 1256. So this is my whole circle. This is my whole radius. And what I'll be doing is I'll be just pasting it here. Uh, let's just paste that. So there we go. Okay. Now what we will be doing with this number, if this number is actually 100% and whatever the percentage of circular bar we need, we have to multiply it by that. And here's a quill cool trick. Uh, instead of just multiplying it with the whole percentage, what you can do is mention the dot of it. Like for example, you want a 60% of it. Uh, this number multiplied by dot six zero is going to give you 60%. Similarly, dot five zero, 50%, dot four zero, 40%, dot four five, 45%. You got the point. So what we're going to do, we don't need to do calculation. XD can do it for us. So 1256 multiplied by, let's just say I want exact 60%. So 0 0.60. There you go, exact 60%. I don't need to worry about anything at all. It has just done all the things for me. Now, in case you want to go like a little bit uh, awesomeness uh, with this circular progress bar, you can just go ahead and make this a little bit like roundish so that it looks like, hey, this is a progress bar. Uh, but really what we can do extra with this is, uh, right now this is like uh, all awesome. Let me just show you one more thing. Uh, not just one more thing, it's just a repetition. 1256 multiplied by, let's just say this time I want an exact 75%. So instead of just uh, doing all the 75% notion, what you can do is just dot 75. And there we go, exact dot 75%. And you don't have to worry about anything at all. So there we go, this is the one trick that we can do. Uh, I'm gonna go back onto this, uh, like uh, this guy again, the, uh, the flat ones, not the rounded ones. And uh, let's just go back onto this point where uh, 1256, I just need a 30% of it. So dot three zero, so there we go. And notice up here, uh, as we go like a little bit less than 30%, uh, it's, it's not listening to us here. And the reason being is that uh, the gaps are actually not very high and all these things. So for the gap, you have to make a number which is like really, really big. So uh, there we go. Uh, just, just make the number really, really big. So many nines or stuff like that. Now this is exactly 30%. Uh, this is the trick that you can follow. Now, uh, let's just go back a couple of steps back and, uh, or actually let me delete this green portion here. Now I want to have a couple of like, uh, a pie chart kind of a thing. So I'm gonna just delete that. You learned all the things up here. And uh, so just copy and paste that. And what we will be doing in this background, uh, I'm gonna just go for this one as uh, 30 because this is going to be 30%. And then I'm gonna just duplicate that one more time. This is gonna be like uh, probably like 45. And I'm gonna need one more. So copy and paste, just one more, just one more. And this is gonna be like uh, 25. So I just want to have a pie chart like this, okay? So first and foremost, we need different colors for them. And uh, good news is we can grab color any time from this palette. And we can choose any palette. Uh, let's just go, we are gonna go with the Canadian palette, why not? So we're gonna go for this nice red, okay? And this one is gonna have a border with the nice red. There we go, looks pretty amazing. And we're gonna go for double dragon skin. <laughs> looks nice, nice name, double dragon skin. For the 45 one, we're gonna go for border of double dragon. You won't be able to see it because it's hidden a little bit behind, no worries. And we need one more, so we're gonna go for this a lotus pink. No, I'm gonna go for jade dust. So there we go, and this is 30 and we're gonna choose a border color, there we go. Okay, so all colors are being set, now it's time to just just uh, apply our mathematics here. So for the 25%, what we're gonna do, make sure it's selected as the square, not the roundish one, this is not gonna look best on the roundish one. So we're gonna go ahead and grab it, and we are going to apply uh, dashes and borders, so again, still 1256 is our number, so 1256, and we want to multiply it by 25%, so we're gonna say dot 25, hit enter, 
Again, gaps are pretty high. We need to make it high. So we're going to just use a couple of nines up here. So this is exactly 25%. Now I want to select the 45%. Make sure you select it from here because from here you won't be able to select it. It's just behind the layer. So go for 45 one, select that guy. And we are going to just, first of all, let's give a really long number for the gap. And for the dashes, we're going to select 1256 multiply by we need 45, so dot 45, and there we go. Uh, and uh, you are now able to see where we are going with this. And again, we need gap of really high, so we're gonna use like N nines here. And we're gonna say 1256 multiply by, this time we need 30, so dot 30. There we go. And uh, this guy is actually hidden behind, so uh, we can rotate that. So we're gonna rotate that to probably 90 degree um maybe a little bit more so we're gonna just move it up back there so there we go and uh, actually we just want to get it out uh, wherever you want to place it it's always going to hold the 30 percent of this so you can just make it a line like that okay looks nice and the 45 one uh we need to rotate that as a little bit uh actually uh, this looks nice. Okay, come on, you can just get out there. So you you get the point that how we can design all of this. This can be like absolutely perfect, absolutely good. Or we can reduce the number of the percentage that they are taking uh, just like that. So this is how you can make a progress bar. In case this is kind of a pie chart, you can make this one like that. You get the idea, you get the point. We can do like better mathematics and can provide an exact pie chart for that. This looks so good and so easy to do. Little bit maths, add to the design, and it can look so awesome. So, uh, as I was talking, there is a couple of features still missing in Adobe XD. Probably they are in the update. I'm not sure. I'll tell you in the next video. Uh, but let me show you one thing. Now, this is all good. I, I like that. I have no problem with it. But it would be really amazing in the border if I could have used the shading or the gradient. I have used it in the sketch in the past. It looks so amazing and so easy. And so many uh, designs in the Drebbel have used it. It looks so amazing. Right now, we don't have this feature of the gradient in the border. Probably it will come up in the update or might already be there in the update. I'm not pretty sure. Hey, Adobe XD guys, if you are listening of this, um, uh, where is the shading part? Please, please include that in the next update. I would love to check out that. So that's it for this video. Let me post, uh, please post down whatever you are designing with this particular design on my Facebook page. On my Facebook page, I would love to check them out. I check all of the comments on my Facebook, so make sure you post it down there. I hope you are enjoying this Adobe XD Challenge series, 30 day challenge, and we're gonna keep doing such challenges in the future as well. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.